first, we go to the phones. Concord, New Hampshire is where we start. Kimberly is there. Kimberly, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thank you so much. It's an honor to talk to you. Well, I'm thrilled to talk to you. What's going on? So I just accepted a position about six months ago as a receptionist for a workers' comp company. It's a great company. It's small. Um, I was hired at 17 an hour, and after 90 days, there was a promise of raising me to $18 an hour. Um, 90 days came and went about a week or a week and a half later, I brought it to my supervisor in an email, which was not the right way to go about it. Um, and asked her if that was still going to be the case. And she called me in a few days later and said that due to the pandemic, they couldn't do it right now, but hopefully they could in the future. So I understood and moved on. Um, it's now been three months since that talk and there hasn't been a, um, a, a talk about that, um, hasn't been a mention of it at all. And there have been a couple people that have been promoted and a couple other people who have been hired on it at the company. So my question is, um, how do I go about asking for this raise or if I should even ask for it? Well, um, I, I'm not a fan of asking for a raise. And, and you acknowledge that email wasn't the best way to do it. So there's no need for us to, to park there. But what I would mm -hmm. rather you do is um, get a good sense of, just because they've hired a couple people or other people, is it, is it at the right time for you? You've been a receptionist and there's, you know, all work is, is honorable. Um, but I will tell you that if they're hiring salespeople or things like that, it's because they're trying to generate revenue uh, or whatever they're, whatever those hires are for. And you can't compare those hires to you. You can't say, well, because they hired them, they should be able to throw a dollar raise my way. Now I think that is common sense, but you have to understand that you are in the company, it's a good company, and you are on a ladder, okay? And so what does it look like for you to move up the ladder? Do you want to move up the ladder? And I think you've got to take perspective for just a moment and go, all right, me just asking for a raise after being there for six months, you know, to be frank with you, if I was running a company, I would probably, um, I would probably not be looking at raises for um, administrative staff uh, until their first year. They did promise you 90 days. Corona is a legitimate excuse, whether or not they're using it as an excuse or not. The point is that's a legitimate thing there. So with all that being said, I think if you want to stay there and if you want to move up, I would bring it back up um, in the form of, listen, I asked you about a raise because it was a part of the 90-day thing. I totally understand Corona, and I have had to do all over again. I wouldn't have emailed you about it. And I'm not here to talk about a specific raise in the form of give me a timeline. But I would love to talk big picture so that when, you know, the Corona environment that, you know, prohibited me getting my dollar raise after 90 days gets better, uh, you know what? To me, it's I love the idea of getting the dollar raise um, but I want to talk about a growth plan. And so would you be willing to work with me and go, hey, here's the, whoa, here's some things. That okay, I'm, I'm going to put her on hold. I don't know what's happening there, so I'll finish the advice. Uh, and so you want to say, and this is, by the way, advice for everybody. I don't like the idea of anybody asking for a direct raise. I want you to say, can we work on a growth plan? And it starts with this. What are some things, specific areas, if you will, that I can grow in, get better. If I do this, this, and this, I become more valuable in this receptionist role. Uh, some training I could take. Uh, some areas where I'm not operating at the level you want me to, but you believe I can get there. I want to know. I, I'm okay with that constructive criticism um, because I want to grow. You know, um, I want to grow. I want to, I want to do a really great job, increase my responsibility, and eventually, of course, with the increased responsibility, increase my pay and put me on a path to grow here. That's the conversation I want you to revisit. And I don't care if it's next week or another month. I would read the room, try to get a pulse on where the company is. Don't necessarily compare yourself. Well, don't compare yourself to other people in those positions. Don't just feel jilted because maybe those other things have happened and you haven't gotten your raise yet. Because you said it's a good company. Um, and so that's the perspective and then that's the plan.